Hello and welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today we've got a 2007 Toyota Tacoma four-wheel drive access cab. We're going to be putting an upper ball joint in it. Now that we've got the vehicle up in the air, on jack stands and the jack, Penetrating oil on the bolts we're going to have to remove, one up at the top, 12 millimeter. This one here I think is a 13 millimeter. Uh, so that's a 10. 10, 13, or 12, and a 19. We're going to take this out and pop the ball joint loose. First thing we're going to need to do is remove the little clip that's on the upper ball joint. Instead of having a cotter pin, this one here has got a little weird shaped pin. We're going to loosen that up. That was a 19 millimeter. That's not going to work. We're going to have to use a box and a wrench on that. As long as the stud's not turning, we're in good luck, good shape. I've had this truck sitting out here for almost a month now. That's why my rotors are all rusty. I haven't had the time to get out here and record replacing the ball joint. I'm going to be doing the uh, wheel bearing in this also. I'm going to be doing sway bar links in this also. But for right now, it's just the ball joint. And then I'm going to have to figure out why my uh, sway bar is striking the strut. I don't know if it was put in upside down when they did the frame swap. But we're going to have to figure that out. You can comment below if you guys notice that this is upside down or something. Uh, I personally don't know right off the top of my head if that is or not. I just know it's not supposed to be striking the, the strut. Something, something's very wrong there. Now we'll get this bolt or this nut all the way out. And then we'll put it back on. Two or three threads just to make sure that nothing goes popping apart. All right, so it's off. Thread it back on, two or three turns. And now we're gonna work on the top bolt for the brake line and the sensor. So I apologize if you guys can't see what I'm doing up here. this out. And go back and forth with a lubricant in there. That way there the bolt doesn't seize up and snap off. As the exposed threads underneath get super rusty and they swell up. And if you're not careful, they'll seize in there and you will not be able to get that bolt in the budge and it'll just snap right off. So you got to keep them very well lubricated and keep going back and forth with it like you're working a tap into cutting new threads. supposed to rain but boy does it look like it I've got to drive this truck tomorrow and I don't want to do it with a rattly ball joint I 
in a minute I take a ratchet to this and just start spinning it out, I'll end up seizing it. It's, it's just, the day's been going terrible today. The exhaust system fell off the Corolla, snapped right in half behind the catalytic converter. So I'm going to be bringing that out, that pipe, to go get it welded tomorrow. So I need this truck again for that as well. Let's see, is that going to come the rest of the way out? All right, I got the bolt the rest of the way out. We'll be anti-seizing this before we put it back in. Put that down with a clip. Now we're going to get this bolt that holds this bracket in place. We're going to try to get that out. All right. There's a little bit of luck in the world. This goes straight into the casting. It does not come out the other side, so I've gotten lucky that rust hasn't gotten into it. There's a little bit of oxidization, but not too bad. So now we got the lines loose up here, so we don't have to worry about ripping them out. This probably didn't much matter, but I'm not really interested in taking chances of snapping something. All right, let's see if we can get this to let go. I'm going to get a pry bar and lift up. I'll just use the uh, breaker bar to do that. Insert it into the coil spring, and then we can lift up like this. And then hit right here with the hammer. And just like that, it pops loose. Get the nut out of the way. I'll lift it back up again. It's kind of fortunate the coil spring lines up like that for me. And we can set that back and out of the way. Now we're going to have to get out the press. Okay. Yeah. Only got a sixteenth of an inch up and down movement. It's not too terribly bad, but bad enough. So let's get the press and start pressing this up and out. There's a circlip on the bottom. We're going to find that circlip, get that circlip out of there. This is one that doesn't have the ears on it, so you're going to have to use a chisel to pop it loose. Clip out of the track, get it down, and hopefully get this thing out of here. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this. It doesn't matter if I mangle the daylights out of the clip, which I got it out. Pull the boot. Oh, yuck. There's dried up grease inside the boot. It's uh, good and dried out. Not that it's going to make much difference, but 
just because I guess. Now let's find the adapters that will allow me to press this up and through. Uh, most of the time you have to cut this stud off just to be able to do it because the, the, the press isn't lo quite large enough. There's the press. You can rent these from any of the auto parts stores or you can go out and buy one. Uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? We need at least a at least a half inch receiver cup at the top. And these things are always too just a hair too big. Getting an angle at this is not going to be easy. upside down and I don't like doing it this way. But. I killed that battery already. We got what, about halfway through it. Yeah, roughly about halfway through it. side. Oh yeah, we only got a little bit left to go. Probably snap off. There. Speaking of which, snap off was left. Now we can press this up and out of here a lot easier. Sorry, I'll put this on the top. I'm going to put, push this way down and then push this up through. this in there. And we have to start getting that, uh, let's see what size that was. Is that three quarter? I believe that was seven eighths. Seven eighths. Oh, this is not going to be fun or easy.
that loosens it up there. I do believe I popped the ball joint right out. Now, as you can see right here, I got a little bit of dirt around there. Just to clean this out. I grab my wire brush and clean all around the top of this. Don't hit yourself in the jaw with the breaker box. It hurts. That's all cleaned up. Put the new ball joint in. We're using a Centrix, part number 61044066. And in the bag, we have the ball joint, snap ring, the ring that holds the boot on, as well as new cotter pin. So let's get the boot off of here so we don't damage it pressing it in. This is a uh, sealed unit, greaseless, or no, grease fitting on it, I should say. Now let's make sure we got. A receiver that's going to be uh, cooperative with us. Okay, so that'll work underneath. Or will it? Well, that won't work. This will work, that won't work. I need a short cup, short sleeve. Seems that I found a new configuration, slightly deeper one. That'll go up there like that, and then the cap will go on right here. And let's try to get all of this to fit in again. Alright, so I have to figure out how to get that right there. There we go. Now let's hold this all in place while I try to get over here. Cranking that down and in. I feel it going in now. Seems I'm bottomed out already. Pop 
this apart and make sure. Looks like it's all the way down. Oh yeah, she's all the way down. Yay. Alright, goody goody. I just gotta get this back out of here. Right. Now the ball joint is now in. Now we gotta get the clip on it. do have the special tool for this. This right here is made for fitting inside the ring. It doesn't have the, uh, the little ears or eyes on it. all the way up where it needs to be. Yes it is. Yeah, you're really cool. Very cool. And seated. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The gap's closed up on it which means it's seated. So now we can put the boot on. The boot's all the way on. I'll we'll turn around and grab the ring. And these rings are kind of tricky. It's almost like putting a, a new key on your key ring. Put the bag open though. started. And we can work around. The trickiest part with this is getting it on without cutting anything. Of course, lighting is a bit helpful. Boots up and on all the way. Now let's position the uh, hole in this so that it's easy access with the uh, cotter pin. Which also helps to distribute what little grease is actually in here. Alright. 
straight forward and backwards towards me. That'll work. Let's get this back up where it needs to be. And lower it back down in. Oh, I'm doing really well here, aren't I? Okay. Now we can go ahead and put the nut on tight. And get cranking that down. Just bring it around to the counter pin. And that should be it. Right. Long side in, down, bottom. Doesn't really matter, but and I just pull it down, tuck it around. Done. Now we take a little bit of anti-seize. And the 10 millimeter bolt that goes up on the top. Get those threads all nice and coated. 10 millimeter bolt, probably only about 10, 15 pounds. And the 12 millimeter bolt, probably about 25 foot pounds, somewhere around in there. I'm not overly concerned about it, I'm just going to make it snug. Do you want to make sure that this will come back out even after it gets rusty? Just snug enough to not let the water in. Next we'll be back for that sway bar link. And then the ball joint. Or the wheel bearing. Now that this is all back together again. Put the wheel back on. Torque down the lug nuts and put all the tools back away. So if you guys found this one helpful, please feel free to like, comment, share it if you like, subscribe, and don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.
and I got it stuck in the receiver cup, which is why I had such a hard time with it. One of the other kits. Again, also rentable. I'm just going to put this right there like that. And just to play it safe so we don't damage the ball joint. I'm going to put a cap on top of it. And we're going to squeeze this all together. And hopefully this works. I can clamp it all down. sure how we're gonna make this work but we have to make this work so it's gotta go in there and the bar needs to come down to where I can work with it I hit myself with it again Something's not working right here. Alright, for some strange reason, I'm going to get clobbered in the jaw by this thing again. I know it. Let's go over on the other side. going on here now well, that's probably what weird is going on this isn't deep enough and oh that was close that was close all right let's try again set that down in there we go and then we'll put the not on. Is this also a 19 or is this one bigger? Oh, well, of course that one's bigger. Oh, uh, let's see how much bigger. We have 21. Oh, well, that's bigger than 21, which means she's a 22. It didn't do too smart with that. Uh, let's see if I can fix that. I'll get that cotter pin in here straight. I don't want it into this. That'll make it more difficult. So. How interesting. Where did you go? Somehow, I've not actually found a place to land. Uh, little screwdriver again. Hmm. I honestly just had it. This is why this is this stuff drives me nuts. I put something down, and then three seconds later, I can't remember where I put it or where it is hiding underneath my leg. So I went 
Uh, where's the hole? 